Hi there, we're running a little video series at the moment called An Invitation To. And today's invitation is an invitation to trust. It made me think of two verses in the Bible. One's found in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. The other verse in the Bible I thought about in this respect is where there was a, a prison officer or a jailer, as they would have called him in those days, and he'd gone through some shocking circumstances where he thought that prisoners had escaped and he knew his life was on the line. And he shouts to two men who are in prison for being Christian preachers. This is a couple of thousand years ago, Paul and Silas, and he says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they say, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. In both of those verses, there is a clear invitation to trust. God wants you to trust him. He wants you to realise that without God, our lives are empty. That we cannot engineer our own existence. We didn't start life because of our own ingenuity. God gave us life. God will end life when the right time comes. But he says to us, trust in the Lord with all your heart. But he also tells you that you've got sin and need forgiveness and that he sent his son to die and take your punishment and my punishment. And God invites you to trust him. For God so loved the world, he said, that he gave his only begotten son, that was Jesus, to die on the cross. That whosoever believes in him, that's an invitation to trust, should not perish, never be punished for sin or go to hell, but have everlasting life. God invites you to trust him for life and for the future and for forever. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and God assures you he will forgive you, save you and bring you to heaven one day. Thanks for listening. I really do appreciate it.